welcome, 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 everybody. So one of my number one questions that I always get is, how do you deliver your files to your customer? So whether you're on Etsy, whether you have your own store, wherever you are selling your digital products from, I am going to show you all how to deliver your files to your customers. So a lot of platforms like Etsy, they have a limitation and the files are just going to be too big to deliver. So what you want to do is you want to create a document eight and a half by 11, which you see here. I have a eight and a half by 11 document. It's in millimeters right now, but you'll create a letter size document. And since this is going to get delivered to the people that purchase from my Etsy store, I just put a banner up here at the top where you can see I'm highlighting and I'm going to zoom in some. And then now you just put a nice thing thankful message. And you don't have to do all of this, but I do because I'm just extra, right? So I usually do a mock-up, which you can see here. I could easily delete this out, delete the image out. And if I delete the image, it'll just be a grid and you could drag in your mock-up there because I want people to know what they purchased. So I let them know, thank you for your order, what you purchased. And then this is where the fun begins. I put a link here. So when you click on this link, when you click here, you can actually link text. So if I right click, I could click edit link and now I'm able to put in how I wanted to display. So I wanted to display as a link with a title and then I click done. So I could actually duplicate this just to show you how to do it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just delete this out and I'm going to put deliverable. And you would just write your text in deliverable files. So once I write my text in, I'm going to edit this. I'm going to delete this link out. And then now you're going to post, you're going to copy and paste whatever link it is that you want. So you could type in whatever link it is that you have. And mine's come from my Google Drive. So I would just put in a Google Drive link because that's what I use. So wherever you save your files at and however you want them to be delivered, that's what you'll do. So I'm going to click edit again here, edit link. And then I'll just paste the link. Once I paste the link and I always paste it everywhere. So I paste it here in the box. I paste it on this play button here. I paste it everywhere because you never know where a person is going to click at on your document. And then at the bottom, I also have a Facebook group, which also is linked below, as well as obviously the YouTube channel. So I want people to follow me on YouTube. Also my Facebook group where we talk about all things digital products, Canva AI, you're able to post your designs, like post what you need help with, all those different things in a supportive community. So I just post that there because I want people to be able to be connected. And then I let them know, thank you so much for supporting us. Once you download the PDF above, click the link and you'll be able to access all your files via Google Drive. And I also have a freebie and I also let them know. So please leave us a review and favorite our shop if you like what you see. And I'm just going to download this as a PDF so you can see how this works. So once I download this as a PDF, you go to share, click PDF standard. And then I'm just going to click on page two because I have multiple files in this document. I'm going to click download. Now, once I click download, it's going to download. It's going to open up into a PDF. And this is what you'll deliver to your customers, this actual PDF. I'm going to click here. And this is the actual PDF, right? So this is the PDF. It's looking real good. Put your branding colors in. And now I'm going to click here. And when I click here, it's going to open up the Google Drive link or whatever link you decide to put in. And voila, here are all the beautiful images inside of this actual design. So I have to actually download it. And once you download it, this is what your customer will do after they get it. They'll download it. It'll say download anyway. You'll download it. But that's pretty much what you'll do in reference to getting your actual PDF files to work with your link so your customers can have something to download when they actually get your product. So if you like this video, please share and subscribe. Any questions or comments, leave below. Thank you so much. And I look forward to you all delivering your beautiful designs and your beautiful files to your customers. And remember, subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you.